This weather report brought to you by Brown and Hurley Agriculture. G'day, Livia Regano with tonight's weather. Today's official announcement of La Nina resonates well with the current stormy weather affecting much of Queensland. The next 24 hours will be a little less noisy, but Thursday and especially Friday should see the sky come tumbling down again. Today's top in Rocky was a mild 29 degrees under cloud, but it followed a muggy night on 18 and a 3 p.m. humidity of 53%. Let's look at the satellite loop. Storms and showers did get going again today, but nothing to the extent that we saw yesterday when the supercell went through Mackay in the evening, dumping a whole lot of rain. We had five centimetre hail at Marlboro and even Rockhampton around lunchtime had a really strong gust going through. It's been a little bit quieter today, but it will erupt again, especially on Thursday and Friday. So watch that space. This is today's chart. You can see there's a steady northeasterly flow going into Queensland. It's an unusual wind. It's not just a local sea breeze, but in fact, the wind has been drawn all the way from the Coral Sea from the northeast. So it's extremely moist, even though not extremely hot to the same degree as a northwesterly might be. On tomorrow's chart, we see the next trough and front merge in with that northeasterly airstream. Lifts the air. Most of the weather will be in western Queensland, so things shouldn't be too bad in the east. Lots of showers, a few rumbles, but no severe storms, except over central Queensland maybe. And then on the outlook chart, uh, Thursday, Friday starts to get quite hairy as this cold front moves further east and some bigger falls are expected before they start to ease again on the weekend. Now the latest from the Weather Bureau, the boating forecast for Capricornia waters. East to northeast winds, 10 to 15 knots tomorrow, tending north to northeast on Thursday and Friday and reaching up to 20 knots eventually. Low tide first up tomorrow, very early in the morning, followed by a late morning high tide that could spill over through lunchtime, and then another low tide at dusk. The Capricornia district forecast, better than even chance of showers tomorrow, and there could be thunderstorms as well. Gladstone reaching 29 degrees, Rockhampton 29 as well, a hot night though. Biloela also 29, and Yapoon 27 with a nice sea breeze. Central Highlands and Coalfields showers, and this time potentially severe thunderstorms. 32 degrees for Emerald, Claremont 34, Moranbar 35. Looking ahead for Rockhampton, a week of mild cloudy days but warm humid nights with daily showers and occasional thunder. Friday especially stands out as having the highest rainfall potential this week. And that's a take folks, no photo tonight, sorry, too much other stuff going on, but I do have many in the pipeline ready to go, weather photos I mean, not sunrise sunset pics. Have a nice evening, catch you tomorrow, and now it's back to the team. Thanks Livio, that's all from us tonight, thanks for your company. And also a reminder, you can watch a replay of our news on the 7 Plus app or catch up on our page, 7news.com.au. And from all of us here, enjoy your evening. Good night. Good night.